The goal came right at the end of last night's rather bad-tempered first leg. One of Ellen Road's biggest crowds for years was there to see it. Among them, our reporter, Nick Powell. Almost 30,000 fans turned up, and the start was delayed 15 minutes to squeeze them all in. If it was tough at times on the crowded terraces, it got positively vicious on the pitch, with a million pounds at stake in next season's gate receipts. Leeds blonde defender Neil Aspin, newly married, found this was no honeymoon. And Oldham's number 10 Milligan was to be booked for his trouble. Oldham were the last team to win at Leeds six months ago, but they seemed bent on a draw last night, repeatedly catching Leeds offside. This was a rare Oldham break, a through ball from Leeds' old boy Tommy Wright, but Mervyn Day was equal to the challenge. At the other end, Sheridan brought the best out of Oldham's Scottish international goalkeeper Andy Gorham, and Oldham were happy to be level at half-time. The second half had barely started before Sheridan and Milligan were at it again. But this was the last of the ugliness, and the crowd were at last treated to some football once Milligan had gone off in search of a new shirt. If the two teams are level after Sunday's second leg, away goals count double, and Irwin nearly got one for Oldham. Leeds replaced Ritchie with Edwards in the search for goals, and it worked. Sheridan's free kick, Edwards' head, and the night was transformed. There were 85 seconds left. Do you know where it was going? I must be honest, yes. Yeah, I felt sure I was going to hit the target, and if the keeper saved it, well, credit to him. But I was very pleased. Did you feel the pressure? I think it was getting to us towards the end of the game, but we always tried to make sure that we didn't panic and try and rush things and force things. We just wanted to keep playing football. We had a few chances that went close, and um, we had one just before we scored, which was stopped on the line. I thought then, well, it was going to be a goal or straw. They've got to come at us now on Sunday, which it should be make for a more open game. So if we can sneak another goal, I think we can get through. A draw on Sunday will be enough for Leeds, thanks to that. It was close. But if Leeds went close, watch this let off for them. Day misses the ball and Oldham really should have made that one count. Oldham's stubborn resistance continued. Jack Asher's volley would have been a goal on many games, but Gorham's save was a beauty. With 30 seconds left, Leeds got what could be a vital goal. Keith Edwards' superb header now to Boundary Park on Sunday.